Yo. What is up, second mother lover? That one didn't work. How y'all doing, second mother lovers? Okay, we're gonna get right into this basketball wise season four finale part two. Mm. It's just a lot of drama, but it seems like everybody is actually remorseful, or maybe we just they just tired that they ratings then went complump. Cause I even I stopped. I realized as I watched my videos and my reviews that I stopped watching Basketball Wives after like episode number five. So I don't even know how many episodes it was. Yeah. So give or take, I only saw like half of the season, and it's pretty bad because you know I don't like to miss a beat, but you know, kind of let you know that the show is just always just doing what they always do feel with the drama but uh, I don't know it kind of surprised me I'm not gonna lie I actually expected more out of uh, the uh, reunion but it seems like everybody was just playing it very 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 safe which is probably smart if you guys wanted a season five if you know what I mean so of course we started off they start talking about Miss Royce first of all I was really happy that they finally showed the clip of her during her play and I thought you know from what we saw she did well you know showing a little character it's so funny because I did a play and part of my character was shaking my hair like that that is hilarious but I played a grandmother um, but yeah it was good that they're trying to squeeze in you know the um, positive part so that was good hon this dude what's his name Desmond it's sad because, you know, first of all, that host, he is just, I told y'all, messy Betty. He is just something messy because he just had to let it be known that every season she's had a different boyfriend and every season she is so in love with this new boy. Hopefully Desmond lasts to another season. I don't know if any of Roy's boyfriends have ever seen it to the next season, so hopefully this one lasts. But that brings me to a really important factor. If your boo cheated on you or this happened and this came out, you know, not one, but two, maybe three, four girls. Like, you gonna take them back? Like, and I know we've talked about this before, but I'm just curious. Like, I know people, you know, they they make bad choices, you know, but how many bad choices do you let somebody make before you say, okay, you know what, you just not right for me. My daddy was right. He was right once again for the fourth time, four seasons, four men, he's right. You know, so when when do you finally say, okay, you know, I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to deal with him. You know, I know love carries you over, but how far does love carry you? Side note, I really love Royce's dog. Side, side note, girl, where was the back of your heel? I know half of us was watching that show and we kept leaning, trying to look to see if the heel was there. It wasn't there. It was kaploop. It was Casper, the friendly ghost. It was not there. But them shoes was cute, I guess, if you want to go to Kansas. But... I like them. I don't know. Like, I see, I'm that girl. Like, sometimes I kind of lean back on my heels. What if I forget I ain't got no heel? I am gone. I am gone straight to the upper room. I ain't gonna be able to wear them shoes. I'm not there yet. I'm not ready. It would be for a bet if I'm sitting down. That's where I can be cute and have my. Did y'all see how Terry had her shoes? She had her shoe turned all the way to the side. That left foot was killing her, baby. I don't blame you. You've been sitting there for hours. You know they recording that show for hours and hours and hours. Okay, I'm gonna get right into this whole Keisha and Tammy B. Now, as you guys know, as I stated on my last video, I did not see that episode when Tammy was bullying her, stealing her purse, doing all this in her face. You know, I did not see that. But when they showed the snippet, I'm not gonna lie, I got upset because this girl Keisha, she had true fear in her eyes. And it makes me mad that it's almost like Tammy wanted to force this girl to be strong and stand up to her first of all let's just be real even doing the small equations Tammy you bigger than this girl you stronger than this girl you already know it's not a fair fight so why would this girl just stand up to you in the first place it makes me mad because we already know Tammy if that was your child like you would be pissed off if somebody was like well, once you stand up for yourself knowing that they're not gonna win the battle like come on like I don't know I just I really 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 didn't like that part at all but I'm glad that Keisha was you know kind of saying something like really like no because Tammy ha had the nerve enough to say that the reason why she took the purse because somebody else was gonna steal it and she brought it back to her <laughs> Keisha said after you held my purse hostage it was hilarious she was like held it for ransom she is hilarious she should be a comedian sometime in her life I don't know yeah but it was crazy because Tammy actually had the nerve enough to say that Keisha you a grown woman you should stand up for my for yourself Tammy, flip that around. Boo, you a grown woman. Do you really think you should be acting like this and bullying grown women? Like, a lot of you guys kind of got on me. Not really, but you guys com commented on when I was talking about uh, the whole suing and all that stuff with Jen. Let me just clear up what I was saying. I in no way was agreeing that what Tammy was doing was right when she was bullying people. I was simply saying, like, 
what she was saying was true. She wasn't saying that she was never a bully. She was simply saying to people, look, like, uh, I mean, well, to Jen, Jen, boo, you bullied too. You know, so this is this and that, that and this and that. Maybe that's one of the reasons why she did drop her lawsuit with the t-shirts. Because guess what? You started this. You went into, uh, well, you had a right to go into her face because she did bang your husband. But you went into her face. All that stuff happened. But this is part of this show. Like, it's just full of drama. Stuff is going to happen. I still do not. I don't know if you guys got it twisted with what I was saying. I did not agree with Naya coming over there and slapping Jen in the face and making her weave, go, her weave go sideways. No, I did not agree with that. That's not right. But I need you to understand that when you see somebody walking around, you got to prepare yourself. You grown. I know. You never expected that somebody going to hit you. But just in case... I need you to prepare yourself a little bit better than standing and looking straight ahead. <sighs> I was actually not surprised that Thuzi didn't say much, but it just really upset me when Thuzi talk and she always goes about it on the people that she knows it's not going to stand up for themselves. Like, did she really like buck at Keisha like that? Like, Keisha, I told you that I ain't say nothing to you. Like, I swear, I thought I was talking to Sylvester or listening to Sylvester off of uh, Looney Tunes. For real, for real. But it just makes me mad that she is so quick to buck. Now, y'all know she would not be slip, uh, lisping and spitting all over Tammy or Ev if that situation was different. Let's just keep it real. Like, I don't like fake bullies like that. If you're going to be a bully, but I guess, you know, that we can say Ev is a fake bully. But she will stand up to Tammy. She just know her, her little different things she can do. Like, she can tear up a paper, but, you know, still keep her distance. Boop, boop, can't get me real good. Ah, ah, got a little duck and dodge. Yeah, you a smart bullet. Yeah, I guess that's what we're going to call you. Is that even good? It actually made me mad that Tammy made the comment that she wanted to, she wanted to, uh, Keisha to stop running away. I'm sorry, but if I'm on an island and there's really no one to protect me and my room is sitting on water and there's a possibility that you may come in and push me in the water while I'm sleeping or something like that, do you really think that anyone wants to stay? This is called vacation for a reason. Not I am going to take vacation in one of the hoodest places in the whole wide world. You know, what? Shut up. Like, no. Like, I don't know. Tim, I lost respect for you on that one. For real, girl. You was bullying. Don't ever say that you're not bullying somebody because you did bully the hell out of that girl. Let's keep it real. 120%. Thank you. Tim, you crazy as hell. Why was she looking at Ev like that? She was like... It was almost like she tried to kumbaya, like channeling in. It was so weird. Like, seriously, she's not wrapped too tight. And then she said that she was trembling because... She can't hear somebody that apologized. <laughs> like, what? Should've hit her before she apologized. You know what part that made me mad? It's when, um, it didn't make me mad. It just really bothers me. I have a pet peeve, and here it goes. I didn't like when Shawnee was talking to Jen, and she was talking about um, that the whole thing with Naya was a mistake or whatever, and that, you know, she, you know, it was a mistake. I'm sorry. How was it a mistake that Naya said, do you need me to come slap you? How was it a mistake that Naya got up out of her seat and walked all the way around the table and slapped the shiznit out of Jen? That's not a mistake. Let's be clear with what that it was that was a bad choice it was a choice that she didn't know was gonna come back and bite her in the assets in the form of a lawsuit let's keep it real like i get so mad with people especially when they cheat they're like oh boy, i made a mistake sweetie it was not a mistake it was a bad choice like i don't respect you more if you call it what it really is like please don't call a club a spade a spade is a spade for a reason like that really bothers me that's just my pet peeve i'm sorry so yeah naya made a bad choice you know you wanted this attention, oh God, this show, da 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 da. Would you have slapped her if the cameras was rolling? I don't know, but she is, you know, you know, some of them girls from the East Coast, they will. She they do just what she did. So I don't know. I did get a little teary-eyed when Shawnee had Miley's behavior. Come see her little daughter, Mimi. That was really, really cute. Happy we did see something positive on the show. I I had just gave up. I I nothing. But that was that was really, really sweet. That was cute. Am I the only one that got bubble guts when he brought out the results? I was so nervous. I was like, oh, they're going to fight now. I was so nervous. I was like, girl, they lied. Somebody didn't lie about something. But I was curious. Why didn't he ask the question on who really wrote the blog? But am I going crazy? Did I miss a part? Because I felt like it was a whole part that was missed from there. Because he was saying, I felt like on the previews, they were showing something. But I never saw it on the episode. So maybe I got up and went to the bathroom a little bit too long and I missed something. I ain't really sure. I may have to go back and watch something because I, I don't know. I, I probably did. It's okay. It was so funny when he was reading the results and he was like, and in the case of Ev being the baby had it, no, I'm just kidding. When he was saying that Ev, you know, if you missed um, Jen and she was like, no, and it was like, 
false and she just couldn't do nothing but smile girl you know you miss her guy I've been saying that since episode one last season and everything that she missed her like I'm sorry I don't care like what you know the situation was like you cannot sit up here and say that you don't miss somebody no matter how bad it ended like I just feel like that's unrealistic and I'm only speaking my personal opinion because like I the thing is is this kind of touched on for me because oh baby woo, woo, this left eye it got it baby when he got them up and they hugged and them tears and they just you could tell that all like at that moment the cameras didn't matter and even Jen said right then and there I don't want to do this right now you know because I think she wanted to talk with just them which is how it should have been a long time ago and I, I think about my own personal situation I had this best friend you know and this is somebody I still consider a friend but you know we stopped talking you know years ago because of he say she say BS we let people get in the middle you know a situation that was so small and you know I lost an amazing friend you know and and I'm at the point in my life now where I'm itching, where, you know, I'm always wondering about her, you know, wondering how she's doing or whatever. And I, I'm, I'm a stubborn person. I can't admit that, you know, and but I also can admit when I'm wrong. And so I feel like I'm I'm mature enough and I'm at that point now that I feel like life is too short for me to go on anymore with you know this little bull you know this bull you know so i'm talking to you viewers you know you got some petty stuff going on don't wait until you apologize to a person and they gone you know what i'm saying so you got those things that need to be mended and if it really wasn't that bad let the petty stuff go life is entirely too short to deal with petty stuff for real i feel sorry for shawnee because you know of course for her you know she's like oh this is gonna be a good money maker you know i mean this thing blew up i mean basketball wise she's just branched out and blew up and of course they were all like yes this is amazing but you know it's sad because yeah i would feel responsible too i mean not to mention that she was always planning in the right places and all of a sudden people magically appeared and all the drama always appeared or happened at her events but we're gonna take that factor out it has to be hard for her because i know the producers are in her ear too like look we need more drama we need more this we need more that and all that so for her you know it's like she's trying to be a friend be a businesswoman and be you know a cast member I know that's a lot of hats to wear for her, you know, and I don't know, like, that that would take a toll on me, too. I, I don't know if I would be able to do it because especially to watch, a, you know, a friendship deteriorate before my eyes and then feel like I'm responsible, I would not be able to sleep at night either. That would break my soul. So, the question of the day is, so after watching the finale, do y'all think that Jenna's going to drop the um, lawsuit? I have a feeling that after they talk, maybe they'll even catch it on camera. I feel like the lawsuit will be dropped. Um, partially, I hope so. You know, I feel like, um, Nia was wrong. I feel like she is definitely trembling in her G-string now. And like Shawnee said, the point has been made. But, you know, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of torn because, yeah, like, no, nobody want to be sucker punched. But I'm like, you know, why don't you go get your slap back? I don't know. That's how I am. I'm always like, let me get my slap back. Then I'll think about it, you know, because I've been sucker. I've been sucking here before, but best believe I got eight more licks on that sucker. You can hit me once, but I'm going to hit you eight. I'm serious. I had turned. I didn't see it coming. I was like, yeah, and it was on. That's all I remembered. It was on. So, yeah, I mean, but that's that's how it is, you know, but I don't condone it fighting anyway, you know, and I don't know. I guess I'm just from a different breed. I just, if I know, it's kind of like that danger, you know, it's like, okay, Bob and Weave, it's kind of like a somebody throw a ball, you know, but anyway, so, okay, now that the basketball wise is over i know la is about to start basketball wise la will you be tuning in are you watching single ladies did you watch the game will you be tuning in to love and hip-hop atlanta well, let's talk about it what show are we going to watch next sucker mother lovers well i am actually done with my review i feel like i missed a whole lot i don't know like now i want to kind of go back and see if i missed the part but i don't know it doesn't matter i hope that the drama with jen and um ev is finally smack you know squash it's petty let it go. Jen, keep her Ocho Cinco de Mayo name out your mouth. Keep the man out, out your mouth. You know, and let let her be happy. Let her make her own mistakes, her own choices in this situation. Just be happy for your friend. Okay? Ev, stop throwing bottles. Kenya, ugh, stop dancing. Just, just stop everything. Tammy, stop being a bully. Shawnee, I'm going to need you to have more of a voice. Stop pimping these girls out like, like you're doing. I'm just being honest, you know? But you're pimping good, you know, but... Have more of a voice during the show. Don't wait till the finale and do something. Thuzi, I heard you got braces. I need you to get a smaller tongue. Get that lisp fixed. Until you get the lisp fixed, I don't think you need to be talking about people. <sighs> Royce, keep your, your, your relationship off television just in case it don't go right. You know, stop crying. You're an ugly crier. I am too. You shouldn't do that. Keisha, oh, Keisha. 
just stay out of Tammy Way, boo. Just stay out of Tammy Way. Jen, don't let these shows just get the best of you, girl. Don't forget where your friends are, okay? That's all I got to say. All right, second mother lovers, until next time. So I make ugly faces, too. I'm out. Me and you must never part. My key, da, da.